welcome to my channel. For this class, I'll be doing Joseph Pilates' original exercises from Return to Life through Contrology. It's pretty humbling. Uh, some of the exercises are challenging and not suitable for everybody. So, as always, be mindful and take modifications if you need. Each time I do this work, I'm filled with respect for the genius that is the work of Joseph Pilates. So let's start off lying on our backs and take a really nice big stretch. Stretching the arms, stretching the legs. And you might feel as you, as you do that, that there's a bit of an arch in the back. So we're gonna try and keep that length and just imprint the lower, middle, and upper back into the floor, and release. Let's do that just one more time. Reaching out, lengthening, finding maximum length, and trying to keep that length as we draw the stomach in, bringing the lower, middle, and upper back closer to the floor. Hug the knees in. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees towards the forehead, forehead towards the knees, and try and bring yourself into the tightest little ball, really rounding the spine as much as possible. Relax it down. Let's take it one more time. Inhale, exhaling, rounding the spine, using the stomach to bring the knees even closer. Place the feet on the floor, clasp the hands behind the head. Inhale to find the length, exhale, bringing the head and shoulders up. Stay there, inhale to create even more length. Exhale as if someone's picking up our elbows and we can come up with the head just a little bit more. And down. Let's do that with both legs long. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Staying, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, coming up just a little bit more. This time we're gonna reach the right leg so long that it starts to float up, off just a little bit off the floor. And down. And the left leg floats up. And down. Let's do the same thing with both legs. Lengthen, draw the stomach in, both legs float up and down. Just one more time. Lengthen, lengthen, pull the stomach in and down. We're ready to start building the hundreds. Bring the knees towards the chest, lengthen the arms up. We're going to start off with 20. Even Pilates said we don't have to do them all at the same time. So inhale, we're going to exhale, lift the head and shoulders, reach the fingers and reach the toes, and breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Just one more time for this time, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Bend the knees in, relax the head back, let's go for 30. Exhale, all the air out, lengthen the legs, lengthen the arms, and in, two, three, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, five, ten more, out, two, if you want to keep going, I'm going to take a rest before I do 50 more to make it 100. So, join me, bring the head and our shoulders up, breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in, Fill your lungs and exhale. 30 more. And in, two, three, four, five, and out. Last time, in, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Reach your arms and legs out as long as possible. And we're gonna take the roll up. Lift the head and shoulders up. Inhale, exhale. We're going to roll up and take a really deep stretch over. So hold on wherever you can. 
and draw your navel in as your head drops down towards your legs. Roll down one vertebra after another, lengthening the fingertips and the tips of the toes forward and then the arms reach back. Roll up, inhale, exhale all the way, stretching over, deep stretch. Rolling all the way back. One more time, inhale, exhale, rolling up, stretching over. Next time we're going to roll down, keep the arms by the sides and reach the legs up towards the ceiling. Press the hands into the floor, bring the legs towards the chest until you feel the hips coming up and then we'll just circle the legs down. Let's do it twice more, just like that. So the hips come off a little bit and then come back down as the legs circle. Circling. Let's reverse the direction of the circle. Bring the legs towards each other. Hips come up and down. Up and down. One more time. Preparation for rollover. Let's do the full rollover. Roll over. Take the legs all the way back. Open to a wide position, rolling down. So this time we're going to make it as big as possible. Let's do it in the other direction. Reach the legs away and over. Down and away. Over. And last time, slowly rolling down with control. Keep the right leg up as you reach the left leg down and use the hands to pull the leg towards you. Hands pressed down by your sides. We're going to take the right foot towards the left shoulder. So there's a long diagonal. The hip might come off a little bit, but keep the shoulders where they are. And then we're going to circle the leg around, creating the biggest circles possible. Let's do it three more times in this direction. Come to center. This time we're going to open the leg towards the right shoulder and circle. So I'm really imagining that my toes are drawing a huge circle on the ceiling. Twice more. Release the right leg down. Let's stretch the left leg towards us. Take a moment to think of the length of the right and the left leg. Arms press down to the floor. Let's take the foot across so we get that stretch on the lateral side of the leg and circle. Cross it over, circle. Really feel how the stomach, how the center works to stabilize the body. One more time to this side. And then open. This time we're keeping the hips as still as possible and then across, open and cross. Huge circle on the ceiling. Twice more. And bend both knees in. Hold on behind your legs and rock and roll a few times until we come up to a sitting position. We're ready for rolling like a ball. Holding on to your front of your shins. Pick your feet up and try and bring your head as close to your knees as possible. Keeping that shape, inhale to rock back. Exhale to find the balance. Inhale and exhale. So hopefully this feels like we're massaging the spine. Twice more. Find the balance. And then come back to lying down, right knee in towards us. Use the hands to pull them in, lift the forehead towards the knee. And let's change. 
single leg stretch. Inhale and exhale. So that sense of the legs lengthening in both directions. And change. The more we work the stomach, the less tension we'll have in the neck. And then hug both knees in, drop the head, allow the muscles of the neck to relax for a moment before we go into the double leg stretch. Lift the head and shoulders up. We'll start with the arms reaching forwards. Shoot the legs out long and bring the knees in. Let's do twice more. This is actually the original version of the exercise. Let's add the arms, reach the arms back, circle them around and hug the knees. Reach out long and hug. Let's do it three more times. To lengthen. Last one, stretch, stretch, stretch. Hug the knees and again rolling up to a sitting position. Open the legs as wide as possible. Sits bones reach down to the floor, the head reaches up. Going to bring the chin towards the chest and walk the hands forwards. Going to stay there. Exhale, bring the navel in as if someone's pulling on the belt and pulling us back as the head reaches forward. And slowly coming up one vertebra after another. Again, spine stretch, so you're really lengthening the spine forwards, using the deep stomach muscles to really open up the lower back. Stay there for a moment, lengthen the legs. And rolling up one vertebra after another. One more time. Connect the sits bones, draw the stomach in, reach forwards with the fingertips, with the head, reach back with the navel. Coming up one vertebra after another. And we'll take that into the open leg rocker. Hold on behind your calves. Reach your legs up as long as possible. Rolling back, inhale. Coming back, trying to find the balance. Again, massaging the spine up and down. Let's do it twice more. Finding the balance. One more time, just hold for a moment. Taking the legs back to that open position. I'm going to take the saw. So reach the pinky finger towards the pinky toe. Stretch the opposite arm back. And think of the opposite hip, the sits bones reaching down, stomach in. Let's do it to the other side just like that. The sits bones root down into the floor and reaching the arms long away from each other, drawing the stomach back. Let's take it with a soaring motion. So three little pulses. Soar, soar, soar. Lengthening up through center. And down, down, down. Reach up. Exhale, stomach back. Two, three, up and down. Two, three, up. Close the legs, rolling down onto your back. Let's take the legs overhead, place the hands on the lower back to support it, and walk both legs over towards the right. We're preparing for corkscrew. Let's walk both legs over to the left. And come to center. Arms press into the floor, rolling down one vertebra after another. I'm going to start off with a modified corkscrew. So bring the legs towards the body, feel the hips coming up. We'll take the legs over towards the right diagonal back. Diagonal front, and then circle around. So let's do it twice more in that direction. 
And let's do the modified corkscrew in the other direction. So take the legs onto a long diagonal back to the left and then forwards and round. Twice more. So you can either keep going with that or if you want to do the full corkscrew, take the legs back overhead, take the long diagonal over to the right and from here we're circling the legs and keep going in the same direction. And over to the left and circle and circle it round one more time. Coming back, take a moment to lie on your back to notice how your spine feels now. And let's flip over to lie on our stomachs. Let's place the hands underneath the shoulders. Press the hands down, lengthen the top of the head away from the feet and start coming up as far as feels good for your spine. Open the chest, bending the elbows. And as we bend the elbows, think of lengthening the legs and lifting them up. So it's like a seesaw movement. We're preparing for the swan dive. Let's do it one more time, slowly and with control. Bending the elbows, lengthening the legs up. Let's take this a little bit faster with a rocking movement. You can keep your hands on the floor. If you want to do the original, take the hands to the sides and rock up and down that your hand, while your hands are reaching out. Let's come to a rest position. Just allow the lower back to release over for a moment. Press the forearms down into the mat, lift the stomach and reach the legs back. Just keep pressing down as you lift the stomach up and we're going to keep that as we bring our hips down to the sphinx position. So open the chest, open the collarbones. We're going to lift up one leg and take two kicks towards the hips. Kick, kick, lengthen the leg. Open the chest even more. And the other side. Kick, kick. Lengthen and open the chest. Kick, kick. Lengthen, open. Kick, kick. Stretch it out. One more time on the side. The higher the leg is, the more challenging it'll be. The more we'll feel it in the hamstrings and the glutes. Let's come to double leg kick. Hands behind your back. Elbows reach down towards the floor, lengthen both legs, and this time we'll take three kicks. Kick, 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 stretch the legs out, open the chest, gaze forwards. And turn the head in the opposite direction, both legs kick, 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 stretch the legs, open the chest, kick, 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 reach the arms and legs Open the chest, kick, 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 reaching, reaching, reaching. How long can we make our bodies? Let's do one more time either side. Kick, 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 stretch legs and arms, spine, open the chest. Last one, kick, 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 stretching it out. Stay there for a moment and let's come back to that rest position for just a second. Come to sitting and reach the head towards the knees. We're going to clasp the hands behind the head. So we're again really stretching the back body, especially the lower back that's been working now. And rolling up to sitting one vertebra after another. 
Keep lengthening the top of the head up. Start rolling back, using the deep stomach muscles to place one vertebra after another, after another on the mat. Inhale, head and shoulders up. Exhale, come up. If you feel you're stuck, you can use your hands to help you. And then bring your forehead towards your knees to stretch the back. This time we're going to stretch forwards on a long diagonal. Keep lengthening. Lengthen the top of the head up and again rolling down one vertebra after another. Neck pull. So use your hands to help you lengthen your neck. If you can, keep going without using your hands. If you need to use your hands. Head comes towards the forehead, reaching forwards and up. This time, keep reaching up. Keep going back. And from here, we're going to roll down. So we're just going to take whichever of those variations you find the best for your body. You can reach back and down. One more time, coming up. Stretching over, lengthening up, and all the way to the floor. Keep lying on the bank. We're going to take the legs overhead, place the hands on the lower back, and we're really going to use the hands to lengthen the hips up. Keep one leg exactly where it is. Lengthen the other leg into the other direction, so we're in a sort of scissor split. Stretch the legs away from each other. Coming up and change, lengthen. So we're scissoring the legs. Really lengthen the legs away from each other and change. So you're not putting a lot of weight into the hands. You're, the hands are reminding the legs to lengthen away from each other. From here, we're going to go to bicycle. So bend one knee, bring the heel towards your buttocks, and then change. Bicycling in one direction. Make sure there's no unnecessary tension in the neck. Let's change the direction of the bicycle. And then let's take both legs back. Press the heads into the floor. I'm going to roll down one vertebra after another to prepare for shoulder bridge. Press the feet into the floor. Lift your hips up as high as possible. And slowly rolling down one vertebra after another. Let's do it like that just one more time. You might want to bring your heels a little bit closer to you this time because we're going to try and place our hands underneath the back. This might feel good for you, and you can stay there. If this feels too much, release your hands into the floor, but think of the hips lifting up. Going to reach the right leg up, trying to keep the hips up. Going to lengthen the leg down and kick it up. Down and up. Trying to stabilize the hips as much as possible. Twice more. And then changing legs, press the foot down, lengthen the other leg up, keep the hips high, down and up, lengthen down, kick it up. Three more times, down, up, down, up, last one, bend the knee, press the feet into the floor. If your hands were supporting your hips, take them down and slowly roll down. One vertebra after another. Going to come up to sitting with long legs. Open the arms to the side. Keep lengthening the top of the head. And we're going to take spine twist. We're going to twist and increase the twist. Come to centre. Squeeze and squeeze a bit more. Lengthen. Twist. Twist. Coming back each time the spine gets even longer. Twist. Twist, lengthening it up. One more time, other side. Twist, twist, center, and twist, twist. 
coming to center, rolling down one vertebra after another. Hands are by the sides. Reach the arms up. We'll take the first jackknife quite slowly. Take the legs overhead, reach them up. Think of lengthening your fingertips forwards and lengthening your toes up. And with control, you can use the arms to help you roll vertebra after vertebra. And let's take it a little bit faster. Over and then up and then rolling down one vertebra after a vertebra. Legs down. Over, up. Rolling down. One more time. Over and up. Slowly, with control, rolling down. I'm going to come to the last sides for side kick. So let's start off with the forearm pressing into the mat. Reach the legs so that they're on a slight diagonal forward. So you want to create that same sense of length through the side. And keeping that length, we're going to bring the elbow down reach the top leg back as much as possible. So really lengthen. If you want a little bit more challenge, place the other hand behind your head. And we're going to take side kick forwards, lengthening it back. Kick forwards and back. And the whole time I'm thinking of lengthening the top of the head away from the tips of the toes. Let's do it three more times. Forwards, reach back, kick forwards, lengthen back. One more time, kick, lengthen back, stay there. Create length throughout the entire body. And let's come up to a mermaid. Legs together, hook the hand underneath the legs and stretch over. And let's take that to the other side. Flipping over, set up by pressing the forearm, forearm into the mat, legs slightly forward, keeping that sense of length through both sides of the body, bringing the elbow towards the floor, reach the top leg back, and for extra challenge, place the other hand behind your head. Kick forwards, lengthen back, kick forwards, Really reach the leg, but also reach the top of the head. Kick and back. You might find that one side feels very different from the other. It's harder to stabilize on this side. So if that's the case for you, you can always bring your fingertips towards the floor to help you. Let's do it twice more. Reach back, stay there for a moment, create more and more and more length. And then it's come to a mermaid position. Stretching up and over. Come to sitting. And we're going to pick our legs up off the floor so that the shins are parallel to the floor. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, slowly roll down. We're going to build up the teaser. Inhale. Lift the head up, exhale, coming up. And when you get there, stretch your legs out as much as you can. Bend the knees and with control, rolling down. Let's do it again one more time, just like that. Lifting up, stretching the legs, bending the knees, rolling down. Again, rolling up, stretch the legs. This time I'm gonna try and keep the legs stretched all the time as we go down and come up, down, and up, down, and up. One more time. Going to stay there for the teaser. Reach your fingertips and toes out long. And let's bend the knees. Take the arm back for the hip twist or hip circles. So see how open you can make your chest. This is even more challenging to open your chest when you lift your legs up. And we're going to circle the legs in one direction and then in the other direction. 
I mean, this is probably the hardest exercise of all to do. Oh, one more time. And bend. So that really worked the hip flexors. The next exercise will stretch them out. Come to lying on the back, on the stomach. Keep the hands underneath the forehead. I'm going to reach the right leg out and lift it up. And back. Let's do the other one. Lengthen, lift, and down. Let's add the opposite arm. So as the right leg reaches up and out, the left arm reaches up and out, and down. And the other side, left leg, right arm, reach them away, and down. Let's go for swimming, lifting both arms, both legs and the head. Lift the opposite arm and leg and then change and change. And if you can, we're going to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster and a little bit faster still. And let's take a moment, rest position. Before we go for the leg pull front. So reach both legs up, lengthen the spine. We're going to lift the right leg as high as possible without moving the hips and down. And then the left leg, keep pressing down into the floor with your hands and lift the stomach. Let's do it a little bit faster. Two pulses up, up, down. Other leg, up, up, keep lengthening, up, up. Reach down, up, up, reach down. And let's flip over so that we're sitting. Start off with knees bent, arms behind you. Press your hands into the floor. Reach your knees forward, lift your hips up. And if it feels comfortable for your neck, you can gaze up and keep lengthening your head. The top of your head away from your knees and down. Let's try another hand position. Let's try with the hands open to the side. Press the hands in, open the chest, and back down. So choose which hand position works best for you. Press your hands into the floor, lengthen the legs, point the toes down, open the chest. We're going to lift one leg up and down and then the other, and down. Keep opening your chest, keep lengthening. Let's just do one more time, either side. And relax over. Let's give ourselves a stretch over. Before we go into side kick kneeling. Let's start up sitting and standing on the knees. Reach the left leg out, open the arms to the side. Let's start with a stretch over towards the left. So getting that sense of openness in the right side of the body. Keep the leg on the floor for now. Press the hand into the floor and stretch in the other direction. One last time, just like that. But this time, as the arm goes down to the floor, the hand presses into the floor, reach the leg up. The arm can either be up or behind the head. And again, let's reach it back as much as possible and kick forwards and back. Forwards, press into the floor, lengthen, open the chest. Kick and stretch back. Kick, lengthen it back. Just one more time, kick. Stay back, lengthen, and over to the side. For the other side, let's go straight into the side bend. So again, push the hand into the floor, stretch the leg. You can hook it behind the other one. Push the hand into the floor as you lift up, and then take the hips down, looking towards your fingertips. Again, press down, lifting up, 
and down. Let's take it one more time, pushing up. Stay there for a moment. I'm going to do all that to the other side. So stretch the right leg out. Let's start off with that stretch onto that side. And let's stretch over, creating as much length as possible through the sides of the body. One more time, over to the right. This time, as the hand presses into the floor, float the leg up. You can keep your hands behind your head or stretch it out to the ceiling. Side kick, kneeling front, lengthen back and front, lengthen back. Try and keep the leg parallel to the floor. Not an easy exercise. Let's do it twice more. Front and back. Front, back, lengthen the leg back, lengthen the head away from the tips of the toes. And then bring the leg back to stretch over. Let's take side bend. Press a hand into the floor. If it too, feels too much, you can also always keep this knee on the floor. Reaching up and reaching down. Lifting up and down. One more time. Up, up, up. And down. And let's come to sitting. I'm going to stretch over. Cross the right leg over the left. And give yourself a nice big stretch. Do the same thing, but cross the other leg over. And from here we're going to go into the boomerang. Keep the hands pressed into the floor. Roll back, take the legs over. Open and close the legs. Come up to a teaser position. Reach your arms forward. As the legs go down, the arms go back. Stretch the arms back and the head towards your leg. And circle the arms, bring them over. Again, rocking back. Open, close, change the legs. Coming to teaser. Arms up. Legs down, arms back. Stretch back. Bring the arms over. Stretch yourself over. Let's do it one more time to either side. Open, close. Lifting up. Find the balance. Back. Dive forwards. And release over. One last time. Over. Change. Balance. Down. Reach the arms back. And stretch over. Let's take the seal. So, soles of the feet together, knees open. Bring the hands through the legs. Hold on to the feet. And let's just prepare with a stretch. Relax the head over. And each time we exhale, pull the stomach in. So one more really deep breath. You can use your hands to really stretch yourself over even more. And we're in the right position for the seal. So just pick your legs up, find the balance. We're going to clap three times with the feet. Clap, clap, clap. Roll back. And forward. Trying to find the balance. Clap, clap, clap. Roll. And if you want, you can also do the claps behind your head. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Three claps. Three claps here. Let's do one more time. Over. Clap, clap, clap. And we're going to go into the crab. Cross the legs. Start off using the hands to bring ourselves forward. Top of the head as if we're going to do a headstand. Let's roll a few times forwards and backwards. Coming back, change the leg that was in front. 
Again, you can use your hands to help you come forwards for this one. And rocking. You're really getting a massage from the top of your head all the way through to your spine. Okay, now pick up the toes and we're going to grab onto the big toes with our fingers. Rocking back, change, come all the way over onto that head position, lift your stomach and back. Rock, change, onto the head. Let's do it twice more. Rock, change. Lift the stomach, last one, change, and Good. let's come to lying on our stomachs. Have the left hand on the floor, and with your right hand, hold on to your right ankle. So let's take a moment thinking of lengthening the tailbone down as we bring the heel towards the hips. Should feel like a nice stretch on the front of your thigh. So from here I'm thinking of pushing my foot away from me into my hand, pressing the left hand into the floor and opening up. Let's do that on the other side. So we'll start off with a gentle stretch. Hold onto the ankle, bring the heel towards the hips, lengthen the tailbone down and away, and then push the foot into the hand, push the right hand into the floor to come up. So from here we'll go into the rocking. Grab onto both ankles, first pull the heels towards you, and then Press the feet away from you and use that to open the chest, open the chest, open the chest. So you can either just hang out here or you can start rocking forwards and backwards. Make sure there's no pinching in your lower back. And release that. We're nearly there. Two more exercises. Let's take control balance. Take the legs overhead. Let's start off with the hands supporting the lower back. Keep one leg on the floor, reach the other leg towards the ceiling, and then change. Place that leg back and reach the other leg towards the ceiling. So one option is to keep the hands where they are. If you feel comfortable with it, you can take your hands back. You can either grab onto one foot or another nice variation is to grab onto the mattress. And that is far more challenging for the control and for the balance. Let's do it one more time either side. Reach one leg up to the ceiling and other leg up and then bring the arms back I'm going to roll a few times and see if from here we can come up to a standing position standing up really tall inhale so exhale, roll the chin down towards the chest, rolling down vertebra after vertebra. Reach the arms to the floor and then start walking forwards until we come to a long, long spine, long legs. You can bend your knees if you want to the floor and we're going to take three push-ups, elbows back towards your ribs and bend. Go down as far as you can while keeping a long back. One more time, bending, lengthening, lifting up, lengthening through the spine, walking the hands back. Relax over and slowly rolling up one vertebra after another. 
Again, inhale. Exhale, rolling over. Or walking forwards. You can choose to keep your legs straight or bend. And three times, bend the elbows back and stretch. Go down as far as you can. Bend and stretch. One more time, tummy in as you bend the elbows. Reach the hips up. And walk the hands back to the feet. Relax the head over as you slowly roll up one vertebra after another. After another, one last time. Inhale, exhale, rolling over. Keep the stomach lifted. Hands reach the floor and walk forwards. Long spine, bend the elbows, one. Twice more, two. Last one, three. Reach back, let's just take a moment to really stretch the spine out long. Deep breath in, out. Walking back, relax the head over. One last time, slowly rolling up, feeling the feet pressing into the floor, lengthening the top of the head up towards the ceiling. I hope you enjoyed doing this class with me and please subscribe for more free videos.